everybody, it's Miss Jamie from the Hampton Bays Public Library, and welcome to Egg Carton Snowmen. So in your kit, you will have enough supplies for two snowmen. I'm just going to show you one snowman, but you will have four of the little egg carton cups with little spacers glued on, and you will have two of just an egg carton cup with no spacer on it. You will have two pipe cleaners and four pom-poms and you will have four buttons and you will have some paint, white paint. This is tempera paint so it is washable and you will have tacky glue. I, to speed things up, will be using hot glue and you're welcome to use that too. But if you use tacky glue, you'll paint it on, or if you have your own bottle at home, you'll squeeze it on, and you'll make sure that you stick everything very well together and hold it so that it stays in place a bit longer than if you had hot glue. All right, so let's get started. We are going to paint our eggs, our egg cartons, white, and then we will have to let them dry. So take a nice coat and paint all over. So the ones without the spacers are going to be the top of the snowman. And then each snowman will have two egg cartons with the spacers. Before you start, if you want to and you feel like your egg cartons aren't laying as flat as you would like to, you can take a scissor and trim off a little bit if you want to do that. But once we put them all together, they should look great. So I'm just going to lightly paint on. You don't have to do the inside, otherwise it'll take much longer to dry. And you're just going to make sure you get a nice even coat. Depending on the size of brush you're using, it might take longer. And I'm just making sure that my brush strokes go all in the same direction so it looks nice and even and not streaky. And I'm going to do that for these ones. I don't need to paint these spacer bits because this is going to keep our snowman intact. When we stack it, you won't even see them. So you can not paint those parts. Alright, so I've painted everything and I'm going to let it dry. If you find that you want to do a second coat, you can do that once the first coat is dry. And then we'll get ready to glue everything. Alright, so I'll see you in a bit when it's all dry. Alright, so I'm back. And it's been almost a half an hour and I only did the one coat. And it looks like that. And there are a few little wet spots still, so I'm going to be extra careful. But if you want to wait even longer than a half hour, especially if you did two coats, you're probably going to need to wait even longer. So I'm going to get started, though, and I'm going to glue my pieces down. So remember I said this one without the spacer on top is the head. And then these are the two bodies. And what we want, before I use the glue, is you might notice that there's a few different sides to your little egg cartons. You want the flattest, biggest side to be the front. So this is where your buttons are going to go. This is where your face will go. So before we glue, we're going to make sure that we have that front piece 
with the broadest, biggest side facing forward. Your spacers might not match up. They might be in different directions all around the carton. So, I'm going to start off. If you have hot glue, you should let it heat up a little bit before you start gluing. If you're going to use the tacky glue, you're going to either use the little cup that I gave you in your kit with a paintbrush, and you're going to paint it on, and you're probably going to want a decent amount to go on these parts, because this is a bit of a thin line. So we're going to glue right on top. Now if you're using the hot glue gun, you will need an adult. And I'm just going to put some glue on a straight line right on top. And I'm going to find that piece that's the broadest, flattest, and stick it right on there. So now I have two pieces right on top of each other. I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds. If you have that tacky glue, you're going to need to hold it for at least 20 seconds. And you also won't want to jostle it around too much. Right, but for time purposes in my video here, I'm going to use the hot glue gun. Alright, and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find the broad, big part for my head. And I'm going to take the spacer and just do another little bead of glue. I'm going to make sure it's all facing forward. And we're going to hold it very gently together. Now remember, if you have the tacky glue, 20 seconds at least. And you won't want it to dry a whole lot, especially this. It's only being glued by the spacers there. So it is going to be a little bit wackily. But you'll want to make sure that you don't move it around too much. You want to let it dry for at least a day before you really move it around. Okay, now we're going to glue on our earmuffs. So we have a pipe cleaner is going to be our earmuff, the little band that goes around your head. And then we have our two pom-poms that'll go over the snowman's ears. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue. If you have the tacky glue, you're going to brush it on and you're going to stick it to the side and hold it and with the tacky glue you might need to hold it a bit more before you put the pom-poms on. Right. So hold it and be very careful with the hot glue. have that. And now we're going to glue our pom-poms on. We have both pom-poms on, and now we are going to glue on our buttons. 
I'm going to take the flat side of the button, and that's the side I'm going to put glue on. And there's going to be one at the bottom. Right like that. And one. So that's going to go right in the middle of his body. Alright, now if you have all that glue on, you'll probably want to wait a bit more. So we'll let him dry a little bit with the hot glue. He should be ready to go more. But you can let him sit. And now we are going to work on our face. So I feel like he's dry enough. And now we are going to work on his face. So you'll need a permanent black marker and your little piece of orange paper. And if you want to freehand a little nose otherwise you can just cut it out but you will need a little triangle if you want to make it more round like a, a normal carrot nose you can do that or you can just like I'm going to do I'm going to take my piece of paper and just draw a little line from there to there and then that'll give me a triangle that looks like a carrot but your nose can be any shape you want. I'm just gonna cut it out. And then I think that's the right size. So take your glue and we're just gonna glue right there and stick it on where his nose would be. I still have just the hot glue, but you can use your tacky glue or a glue stick for this one. him glued and now we're going to take our permanent marker and we're going to draw two coal eyes and a coal mouth so it's just going to be little dots A full snowman. So remember, if your glue is still drying, you want to be very gentle and you can put him up for a decoration. And in your kit, you'll have two, so that means you can have a buddy for your snowman. And he'll look very cute on a bookshelf or on a table, and it'll be a great little winter centerpiece. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed and have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.